Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So we have moved planets. We are now at Milligan's World. Um, let's have a look here on the star map. So we're just inside the border of the Outworlds Alliance. And Milligan's World is 100% Outworld Alliance. We're going to start working for some Karita um, control on this planet. Uh, it is a four skull world, so I'm hoping that we pick up some good missions here. Um, now we've refitted, let's have a look, we refit the, um, where are you here, um, Thunderbolt, where are you, right here, we refit the Thunderbolt last episode, and we picked up um, a couple of ERPPCs, the ones that I like, with the plus 10 damage and minus 10 heat, they are minus 1 accuracy, but we managed to mitigate that a little bit, we got a TTS plus energy in here, we got a weapons mount on the arm, um, advanced fire control system um, so that should work fairly well with these guys we've got an ER medium and a medium pulse as backup PPC capacitor to max out the damage on these PPCs watchdog suite for defense and a lot of heat seeks and a combat shield here in this arm uh, to keep ourselves um, from taking too much damage now we've also got a tag as well which is good we put, I put the exchanger and the heat sink cooling pod in the legs just in case we get hit and crit um, they're far enough away from the CT. We don't have to worry about it that way. We don't have to worry about case too much. Got an NSS in this guy. 265 core. It's not going to be a really fast mover. Um, our movement's 5.8, but that's fine. Uh, the idea with this guy is we're just going to stand back and pinpoint damage most things. So, yeah. Thunderbolt's ready to go. Um, and I managed to sell enough junk that we had in storage to get both the Bushwhacker and the Catapult um, fixed and ready to be refit. So that's a good thing. Uh, we got rid of the Grinner. We sold that off last time. And the Arinia we ended up putting in storage. So uh, it is still there. I haven't sold any of the mechs yet that we've got in storage. So we've still got, a, we've still got six mechs in here. If we need C-bills, we can easily pick that up without a problem without having to sell any mech parts here. So we're going to jump into some heavier battles today, I think. We're going to try and go uh, at least four and five skull today. I think we're more than capable of pulling that off now. So I'm um, just having a quick look at the parts here. If we really close to anything in the heavy. So cataphract, we've got five pirate cataphract parts. And that we had two. Yeah, we got two regular parts. So we might be able to pick up a cataphract today if we encounter one. That would kind of be nice. Um, three chance. Like we're getting a lot of. We're getting close in a lot of things. We got four Archer L, four Archer C, uh, Orion Champion. Lots of good parts here. So, uh, Gungnir, Dragon. So let's hope we encounter some stuff. We can take some good, uh, good amount of parts from Marauder parts. All right. Oh yeah, we got the Archer XR, the Athena. I think this is an individual mech. I don't think we can mix this with the other Archers. So, not a big deal. Hellbat. All right. So let's look at our contracts here and have a good look. So yeah, it looks like we've got some lower ones and we've got some higher ones. So let's start maybe, uh, we could go five skulls right off the bat, maybe Battle in the Highlands. It's believed to be a signature of active patrol of local government mechs, reconnaissance nearing our borders on this planet. Uh, if there's any more government units, there'll be a bonus for destroying those as well. So most likely be two lances. Stealing is a form of flattery, which is capture a base. Hard target is an assassinate. I think maybe we go secure borders. Let's try this one. So we're going to be dealing with two lances. I think we'll probably be okay. If not, we can always pull out if we have to. Uh, but let's get into a five sculler. Just let's get some start. So let's start getting some challenges going on here. So let's negotiate this. And we're kind of at the beginning of the month still. So I'm going to go full salvage. Hoping to pick up some mechs here. So we're going to load in our main lance. So let's pull out the second lance. And let's bring in the Thunderbolt. Let's bring in the Bushwhacker, the Flamehawk, and the Griffin. And load up Baba Yaga. And we've got Sunflower, Red Comet, and Megasaur. And I think we're pretty good here, so let's do this. Yay, you say that. We'll see what happens. Okay, what do we got? 
guys up on a hill. So standard play here, we'll move forward to the right. Uh, so if they've got reinforcements coming in here, we're off to the side. So uh, let's do this. Sunflower. I copy. Hmm, Baba Yaga is moving pretty slow. Commander. So I heard a vehicle there over on the right. Or left, sorry. Directionally dis I'm directionally dyslexic, so uh, I'm generally when I say right, I mean left. When I say left, I mean right, usually. Okay. Unless I'm actively thinking about the direction. Get down into here. Yeah, so it's not bad. I mean, the Thunderbolt's about the same speed as the Bushwhacker, so not too bad. Okay. So I was having some thought about how, you know, difficulties of missions should be determined. Ooh. Okay, Catapult. Kaiju. Blackhawk. And a white. Okay, this could be inherently problematic. Uh, yep. Okay, not a bad hits. So what they should do is put up a slider. Uh, so let's say you take, let's say your lance. Yeah, thanks, Darius. We knew that. Uh, let's say your lance is like a basically rated medium. Let's just end this. Um, so, like for instance, our lance is rated four skulls, right? So, like if you take. Let's say when you take a mission, um, so let's say we take a four skull mission, there should be a slider on the mission, you know, light, heavy. So you could take a lighter uh, version four skull mission or a heavier version four skull mission. Um, and the idea would be if you take, if you take the lighter version, um, it's like a low scale. Okay, I gotta manage my ammo here. Let's go this route. Yeesh, 16%, eh? So let's not let's not worry about this for now. Let's just do this. Uh, so the scale would be set up. Ooh, that's terrible. Uh, so that you can determine the difficulty of the four skull mission or five skull mission or whatever it is. So you could slide it hard, easy, or you could click a button that would just say random. And then inside that four skull, they would give you they would already have a range of what lances would be deployed. So, like, maybe it's, like, easy, hard, or easy, medium, hard. Uh, we want to get as far over here as we can. What do we got on this guy? It's not very much. Um... This begs for a multi-target. So let's take A, this to B, this to B. And fire it. Yeah. Wasn't expecting much out of this. Yeah, so anyway, that way you could determine how tough each mission would be. Now you could take easy five skull missions if you want. Oh shit, that's bad. Oh, my mech's coming apart around me. You get two shots in the same location? You totally did. Jerk. Please, please, please remove this white from the battle. Mm. Yeah, they're not even going to show it to us how brutal that, how brutal it was. That's what's coming up for you, Kaiju. Blackhawk, huh? That's 45 tons, if I'm not mistaken. That's a lot of lasers. Here it comes. Laser barrage. I'm gonna lose my arm.
Whoa, talk about getting lucky there. I'm losing armor bad. He's shooting you. Just think of it as think of that as a just think of that as a um, compliment. It means he thinks that you're a big threat. That's what he thinks. Oh yeah. Oof. Yep. Let's go. We gotta pull this guy to the battle. That's too many lasers. I'm receiving you. Ah, we don't have enough for. Uh... Okay. Well. Acknowledged. I was really hoping to get a uh... vigilance off this one. Should get at least one acid round on this guy. Uh, do we go this route? Not this turn. Next turn. SRM carrier. Cannot let that guy get close. Shit. Getting close to losing my arm. Or did we lose it? Yeah, we lost it. Three flamers down. That's bad. If I CT this... Oh, we're going to be able to CT him? That's the question. 100 and... 200 and something da uh, damage. We're doing 98. How are we hitting with 98 with those PPCs? We could kill this guy with a CT head. How are we hitting 98%? Base damage is 65. Did we get a bonus damage because he's overheating? I don't even know now. Plus one accuracy, 10% damage. I have no idea why it's so much now. But we can CT this guy, so we're going to take it. Torso is just fine with me. Guys, fucking evil. Armor breach, internal damage. He is evil. Shut his ass down next turn. Just don't fall. Don't fall. That could have been worse. Oof. Yes, Commander. God, I almost want to do this. It's got to be this, though. He moved to the right spot, that's for sure. We should be able to shut him down. Ah, uh, you know what? I should have berserkered it. Just want to walk in. Good chances. Not so good chances. Let's see. In all wow. Really? 
Can't be doing that, girl. They've got a sensor lock on me. I'm here. Roger. Hopefully we shut him down. Yep. Heavy rocket carrier. That could be bad. Don't know if it's all rocket launchers, but if it is, they get a single target shot off on me. I'm in trouble. Alright, we should be able to take this torso. Okay, there's another mech over there too. Yay! Finally shooting at somebody with armor. Boar's head. Isn't that like a hundred tons? Or eighty tons or something? Wow. Man, eh, not so bad. Let's get eyes on. Roger. Ah, shh. Wow, we took a risk. On it. Took a risk. Target's taking a critical hit. Stand in by. It's already got acid on it. Inferno it up. Firing. Confirm. Ugh. Don't like any of this. Coordinates received. I can't be messing around. I can't be messing around. Okay, another mech, Jagger mech. Commander. Okay, going full throttle. What's up, buddy? Ready for orders. Uh. Reserving action. On my way. Double time. Acknowledge. Waiting for orders. Let's just see. Maybe we get the leg. Or the whole mech. Whatever. Target eliminated. Waiting for orders. Acknowledge. Okay, your job's done for now.
Yep. Nice. Yeah, definitely liking this PPC loadout. Not exactly sure how we were hitting that 93 or 98 or whatever it was. Don't know what the math was on that, but I damn sure it wasn't right. Okay, this SRM carrier has got to go away. Can't see it, eh? Doesn't matter. Yeah, so Boris Head is 100 tons. Let's take out this guy with the Rack 5s. Yeah. Gonna need you eventually, but not yet. Taking a lot of damage. No, the weird thing is I picked up a couple of double plus flamers in the store just before we left the last planet. So I do have a bit of a bit of uh, good gear we can replace those ones we lost with. What's up, boss? You need that SRM carrier dead. God, I hate the idea of moving in like that though. Let's stay out of the reach. Let's let the SRM carrier attempt to come to us, and then once we have a better positioning, we'll take it down. Uh, I'm not going to Warlord this. Negative damage. We're going to save it for the boar's head. Waiting for orders. Got it. Okay, it's in a position to die now. I'm receiving you. Move order received. Slowly close a little bit. We're gonna need flames on the board flames and acid on the board's head for sure. Okay, they got eyes on now. I want a vigilance because I don't want to get caught out here in the open. Should be good. Yeah. I don't think these guys going to be able to see us over here. Fire. Yeah, I got the tag on him again. Hooray for that. Let's force that boar's head to come to us. Uh, I'm firing. All Slowly whittling that guy down. Don't know which way that boar's head's gonna come though. Ah, uh, yeah. Just needed one hit. Ah, yeah, well. That's a miss. It's all right. That's all right. Yeah, they can't see us. Standing by. Keep that right side turned. That's our right leg, so we gotta be careful. Ooh. Standing by. Oh. 
Boris has still got a little bit of time before it gets to us. I copy. God, that PPC is missing so much. Receiving you. Roger that. Digging in. Order acknowledged. Nice. I think we got an arm or something off this guy. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Yep, one arm. Almost got the leg, almost got the other torso. One rack down. Yeah, it's getting my leg. Ready for order. Yeah, you need to reserve. We need to get eyes on this turn. Ms. Flowers, it's your job. Roger. Oh, Old not quite enough, eh? Damn it. Roger. That PPC missed again. Yes, Commander. Okay. No oh no, we got a target. It's right here. And this is going to be acid. Firing. Oh, this guy's like an atlas. Yes, Commander. Where's my horns? Give me my horns. Where's my horns at, people? Down, 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 down. I should have juggernauted it. Damn it. Or, uh, sorry, berserkered. 223 in the leg. Guess who's losing his leg this turn, buddy? If I can get eyes on. Let's claim that leg. Firing. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, we got it. Okay. It's going down. Okay, we're down to a rack five and this guy. That guy took a lot of stability damage. Oh, you fired at the right person. But it looks like you're gonna get the Berserker now, buddy. Sorry. This guy will turn his other leg towards us most likely. He'll probably fire at the uh, Flame Hawk. That's what I would do. Oh, he's trying to shield the other leg. I'm taking some serious hits. Yeah, that's a smart play. Commander. I have not used this all battle, but we're going to do it now. And Jagermax have notoriously horrible back armor. Roger that. Yeah, bye-bye. <sighs> Thanks for showing up. Here's a little parting gift for you. All right, let's figure out what we're going to do here. Uh, do we have the ability to target the other leg? We do. Um, so that's pretty damn good ability to target the other leg. Defensive push. We should be able to shut his ass down, I think, this turn. Oh, nice. PPC hit when it really needed to. Comet's going to come back here. Actually, we're going to stay in the forest. Just in case. And we're going to switch from acid. Oh, that's probably why. Okay. I'm like, why am I doing so much damage? The acid was on him. 20% more damage. Right. Finally, I figured it out, guys. You're probably all rolling your eyes, banging your head in the desk. The acid, dude. The acid. Yeah, what's this guy leg at? I don't know yet, but it's almost gone. Shutting him down. Yeah. I don't see losing this Flamehawk anytime soon. It's just such a valuable mech when you're dealing with with mechs like this. It basically renders this guy completely ineffectual. It's pretty much like, yeah, 90 damage this time. Uh, so he's got 105 left. Lots in the torso. Uh, we're going to go with everything just to make sure. 
Do we get it? No, not enough. What's he at now? Handful. Yes, Commander. So we're gonna go for the leg with the two ER mediums. Let's leave these guys off. Firing. Confirmed. There we go. Nicely done. Tango down. Excellent. Mission successful. So that was a fairly well run five skull. Uh, not bad for having one heavy and three mediums. It's going to cost more than this to repair our mechs, I think, but we'll be all right. Uh, the Flamehawk did take a good sizable amount of damage, but the rest of us we did really well on. This guy is really, really, you know, maybe we're going to have to figure out how we get rid of this R12 sheath beacon, get something else in here. The NSS, I don't know if the NSS is really working. Maybe we try and find something else a little stealthier. I don't know. Um, the sheath beacon's not bad. But I think we need more ECM on this guy. It's just a target right now. So let's try and get some more ECM. Maybe we swap out... Um, maybe we swap out the sheath beacon. Pull that out and then switch out the NSS. I don't know. Let me think about it. We'll have to do something, I think, with this guy. But uh, generally, really good kills overall. And, it, uh, you know, Red Comet doesn't get very many kills. But the thing is, is the assists that this mech gets, it's really integral to be for, you know, everybody else to be able to do their job. This guy's doing a wonderful job. Christ, I sound like a post-game announcer or something. Yeah, Bob, that Flamehawk is really doing good out there. Playing really well, keeping a stick on the ice, not getting beat. All right, let's find out what we got down here. MRM 40. Oh, these bonus PPCs. I love these things. Um, we still have one in backup, though. Beagle Probe, Active Probe is a lighter version of the Beagle Probe, I think. Wow, plus six. Um, yeah. What else do we have down here? Anything? Double heat sinks. Do we have range sensors? Eh. This looks sweet. So, yeah, that's that. So, now I want to take mech parts as much as I want to take the boar's head or the black hawk. I think, honestly the better bet is to take the catapult parts because the thing is, is we've got catapult parts already. We'd be closer to finish these guys off. Two ballistic, four missile, and four energy hard points. Um, we're closer to finishing these guys off, although we do have the Agamek parts as well. But as far as mechs that we come across... I think we're going to come across more catapults than anything. Like, we haven't seen a Jager mech in quite a while. We've seen catapults, but no Jager mechs. King Crab would be nice, like I said, but... Um, yeah. Okay, let's go this route. Okay, so two Blackhawk parts, a board head part, two catapult parts. Light PPC, medium pulse. Uh, we've got the MRM-40, okay. Yeah, I wanted to take these because I know we're going to need them sooner or later. Uh, and that way I don't have to worry about this plus 6 e-cooling kit. is like like 1.5 million here. But if I had to buy it, it would be ridiculous. Like it's in the store, it's ridiculous. Okay, so let's continue. Okay. 167,000. Not too shabby. I mean, it'll be more when we eventually put the flamers and stuff back in. But not that much more. Let's manage our task. Let's make sure the flame hawk is up and this is in here. So pretty good overall. Pretty good overall. We'll be back before we won't be back before the financial report unless somehow we get magically get some uh, repairs. But that's okay. Let's have a look now at the contracts. Second Lance can run one here. And he does his own stunts. This should be a challenge. Usually, um, it's challenging. All of its celebrity, Milligan's World. All right, let's go get Brock Lanahan. 
Uh, yeah, let's do this. Three skull, negotiate. Max salvage. Accept this. And flush these guys out. So we're going to go with the uh, Wolverine, the Crab, the Raptor, and the Hunchback. I think this is probably a good loadout. So Satori, uh, we need Chupacabra. Actually, you know what? Before we do this, I want to check our pilots. I should have probably done that just in case. This Lance is so close, I think, to achieving um, a few things that we want to get here. Uh, maybe we're not. I think I spent the points between episodes. Good to go. Yeah, I did. Alright, I stand corrected. Come on. There we go. Let's go take care of this Brock line of hand. Oh, what the hell? What? Did I just do? Shiz. Where are we headed? I thought I just clicked on this one. Did we click on this one? No. Alright, so I told Dr. Murad and Sumeri that we uh, took the wrong contract, so we turned around and came back to the planet. Uh, I did advance the timeline two days for my stupidity. As you can see, we reloaded here. Uh, let's go to the uh, contracts and take the proper one now. Ah, uh, man. I was sure I clicked on this, but I think I clicked so fast that it never really registered, and then I clicked negotiate. It's probably what happened. Anyway. There we go. Let's get this laid out here again. Man, I gotta be more careful. Okay. You know, in my defense, I am in a lot of pain today. My uh, left arm is completely screwed right now. From the wrist down. Sorry, from my wrist up to my shoulder, it's just an excessive pain. Yeah, my arm's been in pain for like five days now. Oops. Um, so if you're part of the reason why I don't use key... Oh, great. This is going to be good. Part of the reason why I don't use key commands at home or keyboard shortcuts at home is just because I want to relax my arm. So I do as bare minimum as I can at home. Um, yeah, I just had so much work to do this past week at work. So many jobs are on my desk. I got like 15 editing jobs on my desk right now. Whole bunch of commercials, some corporate videos. It's just crazy. Uh -huh. A lot of them are like in most of them are finished and out to the client. It's just we're waiting for feedback. But I mean, we had how many spots did I have to do last week? Like four Thank TV you. spots. It's just crazy. I'll try. Okay. Got a feeling we got two lances plus a boss. So. How aggressive do we want to be with these guys? Three Skull, Brock Linehan, Cement Mixer. Let's get rid of this guy. I don't like the look of this guy. Got it. Oh, you can't miss with the large, girl. Can't miss with the large. Good to go. Let's get on the Ultra way. 5 on this Double. guy. And firing. Okay, well at least the AC5 hit on the side. On yeah, crap. Ready for orders. Stay in the water. Confirm. Just so we can blast this guy with lasers. Locking in all weapons. Ooh, nicely done. Hey. Hey. Too bad you weren't first. We could have got some acid off on this guy. Wow, bad chances to hit. Uh, yeah, let's go this route. 
Okay, we got some acid on him. Should help finishing him up next turn. Brutus. Zukov. Wow, they're heavy. Now, I did not increase the difficulty, so... Eh. Oh, six hits. Or five hits. Something like that. Sawed off LBX-20. Really. Okay, so I think we're right to push. These guys pull back and use their missiles behind the hill. That gives us this side, pretty much. Uh-oh. Now, does this guy have an Ultra 10 or a 20? Remember we faced them before. I think it's an Ultra 10. Receiving you. think we need to target this guy again. He's got fresh sides, though. Well, not that fresh. Um... Yeah. Nice. Softening his ass up. What can I do for you? God, we gotta be in the open. Uh -huh. Let's hopefully finish this guy up. Firing. Take this. Nope. Might as well strip all of the armor off him before we kill him, eh, guys? Good idea. Hope these guys are in range. Sheep Metal's going to come in and squash one of these guys, I hope. Now, she is still stuck in the water, so I don't know. Commander. Nope. Thought we'd have enough. No target. Nope. This is your target right there. Yeah, one hit. Yeah, AC ten. Okay. Okay, okay. Club, no. I need you to fucking move. Get up here. Um, how are we doing dead fire? Eh. Okay, it's fine. Let's go this route. Okay, acid. Nice. So we got one more turn of acid on this guy. The acid should help us squash this turd here, right here. Yep. Waiting for orders. Ah, uh, we could just shoot him, too. Moving out. Yeah, possibility. We got dead fire and everything. Yep. Nope. That hit something good. Yeah, but you didn't kill him, girl. Like, really? Really? Like five points left or something. Okay, good. Reporting. Enemy Didn't want to waste stepping on that guy or this guy because they're both easily killable without that. Uh, no, I think it needs to be Sound Sonic shooting at this guy. Advancing, I guess. Uh, yeah, I like that. More than enough. Just thinking ammo management at this point. Not much left of him. Nope, not much left at commander? all. I need you in to spot both of these guys because I want to step on one of them next Double turn. Nine. Primitive tank. Oh, that's got a lot of shiz on it. This guy's got less armor though. Uh, K 
Okay. All right, let's see if we can step on this guy. Uh, maybe next turn, if he's moving away. God damn it, really? Oh. Somebody's coming up. Grimalkin. That better not be Brock Lanahan. You better have a better mech than that. Um. Really? It's a cougar. I hear ya. Um. Can't step on it. Let's do this. Moving out. And target this guy. Yep. Here we go. I want um standing by. Sorry, I need uh sheet metal to squash this guy. He's going on I don't know when he's going. Shoot this guy. Gonna be overheating. Medium pulse can stay off, fire the rest. Should have really attacked him from the front, but I want to make sure I kill him. Look at that. Enemy vehicle destroyed. What now? Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's switch out of the dead fire. Let's go with LK. Sure is. Okay, blocking the units in the gun out of the way. Hope that is not the only guy. Want to close the gap before we fire on him? Get some heat back. Roger. That is the only guy. I'm here. Okay. Good to go. Sure. Roger that. Firing on Primary target damage, Commander. Primary target narked. All right, well. Yes, Commander. Let's see how much damage this guy can take. Acknowledged. We got eyes on. This guy's dead meat. Uh, he's got incendiary ammo. What do we want to do here? Fire control system tag. We want to max out what we can get off this guy? I think so. I think he's going to have lots of gear on him. Let's try and leg him. Shooting right here. Firing everything I've got. Okay, there's one leg. Want some more, huh? I think he does. I think he does want some more. Hey. Let's give it to him. Uh, yes. LK ammo only. Firing. God, you couldn't hit more in the leg. Ready for orders. Hmm. Yeah. Location confirmed. Come on, blow the leg off. Got it. Oh yes. I hope that was a leg hit. Engine destroyed.
Do we have to retreat? I guess technically it's an assassinate mission, so we do. Alright guys, I'll see you at the exit. Alright guys, we are out of here. Let's go home. All right, payment increased by 25%, so that's pretty good. Didn't need the extra sea bills, so that's awesome. Moving on. Good XP, too. So the lance handled itself really well. We've got, like, three of these guys, eh? Or two of these pieces. Um, ATM-9 Pirate. Jury-rigged ATM-9 can fire MMR, LRM, or SRM ammo? Really? Exposed ammo feed will export volatile. Um, wow. Volatile. That's crazy. That's totally nuts. Okay, what's the fire control system tag? Target acquisition gear. Two pips ignore plus two accuracy. Does not fire in melee, it says. Hayward to the cockpit's fire control system. Trading the unit's fire control system for a powerful tag. Oh, I see. That is interesting. Uh, I'm going to drop it there for now. Just because if we have a mech without a fire control... Well, we're always going to have a fire control system, so... I don't know. I don't think that's going to stay. Compact heat sinks and a compact heat sink kit. Uh, how much is this worth? 2.5. ECM Pirate. Eh. 255 core. We've got one of these already. XL Gyros. We've got a bunch of these, right? Yeah, a couple. Lower arm patchwork materials. Got two of them. Stealth X, LBX cluster ammo, slug ammo, acid ammo, MRM half loads. I don't know, guys. I mean, I guess we could just take the Grimalkin parts. I don't think we really need that. Yeah, I mean, really? I mean, we could use sea bills too, right? We could go all sea bills at the compact, compact heat sink kit, core. We do need it before the end of the month. And really, a 35 ton mech at this point, even though it is a clan omni mech, not really the biggest thing we need. Could do those two. Endo's only 500,000. Stealth X is how much? 100,000 is nothing. Um, <sighs> 310. Pirate stuff's usually worth a lot. 780,000. That's not bad. This is worth 210. Already got a boomstick 324, ATM 9 Pirate 760. Wait, that's 760. What was the other one? What was it again? This 780. All right, we'll do that. It's gonna go for C bills. Keeping the Patrick materials though, let's confirm. We got three Gremlin parts anyway, so that's kind of nice. AC-10, Chaff, eh, Tagger, a couple of compact, well, one compact heat sink, some ammo. Okay, so, I mean, yeah, for what it was. All right, let's have a look here. 222,000, so not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so I think we fix up that Lance uh, and go again. So we're going to do this. And then Wolverine, Hunchback, 
Thunderbolt and Griffin. Yes. So seven days. We gotta wait for our pods to be back anyway. So yeah, let's just sell that stuff real quick and then we'll take another quick mission and we'll end the episode. So let's sell off. Um, go here. Compact heatsink kit. Most likely never going to use. We might use them later on, but right now we need the C bills. I'm going to. I'll keep the heatsink. There's no point in selling the heatsink. Uh, it was a 225 engine we picked up. Why is that not? Three, we got like lots of 300 engines. Yeah. What are we at now? 82. You know what? We should have enough for the uh, financial report. Actually, you know what? Right, there was the pilot, uh, pirate um, light PPC for a hundred grand, and then the pirate ATM nine. I know it can use multiple ammo, and it would be kind of cool. But you know me and my track record with volatile weapon systems exploding on me. So yeah, let's just get rid of that. All right, so. We're okay for our financial report, so let's just see what else we've got going on here. Make sure we don't click off for a travel mission again. Uh, clean out the Mercs. Uh, it's Karita, though. Don't know if there's anything we can really do here. Coupe. No. Um, first of all, I want to have a look at the star map just to see if we're actually switching anything here. Oh, yeah, we've almost flipped it to, to a Draconis Combine after two missions. All right, uh, let's take another Draconis Combine mission then. Let's do something really easy here and get this done if we can. Oh, there isn't anything really easy. Capturing production. Uh, I guess there's really nothing else we can do here. Not until our main lance is back. Like, we could easily do capturing production with the main lance. So I'll tell you what, let's just do this. Um... Let's get our main lance back up and running and functional again. Gonna have to wait till after the uh, financial report. Uh, let's give her a party in the barracks. Decrease by two. What? Really? Well, her flame hawk's back in five days, and then we got a couple of days of repairs after that, so. Ah. Come on, guys, you gotta stop fighting. Job's done, okay, now we definitely, this month, have to just go for sea bills because we want to get those other mechs up and running. So I can pull the crab out of service. Uh, most likely I'll pull the Raven out of service. So let's have um, look at the mech bay. Let's get that flame hawk. Where are you here? Fixed up. Now I don't know if we've got enough flamers to replace all the good ones that we lost. So it was really just a hand and three flamers. So not so bad. Uh, let's get a hand here. Everybody needs a hand now and again. There's the hand. And then weapon systems. Got two double plus flamers. Let's move this double plus flamer into the arm. Put a regular flamer here. And before I forget, now we were thinking about putting better stealth on this guy. So if we do that, uh, we need to gonna need to get definitely gonna need more um, <sighs> weight here. NSS, I don't know how well that's working overall. The void system is definitely better, but it generates way more heat from weapon fire. Um,
Minus 65 reduced visibility, minus 55 reduced sen enemy sensors. 35 and 35. Yeah, I think we're going to drop the void system in. We'll take the heat. Uh, but what I want to do is find... Let's go down here. Um, I mean, we could... we got a clan exchanger. If, we wanna if we're worried about heat, which we're having a problem with, we will be having a problem with the void system. We could always put an exchanger in in, case, in uh, replace of the heat pod here. Heat sink cooling pod, and then use that heat sink cooling pod somewhere else. Um, so we could. Plus one defensive against being hit. What's this giving us right now? Increased sensors, increased sight, jamming bubble, sensor probes, share sensor information. Hmm. QS Warfare Suite doesn't give us any defensive bonus, but it does generate more heat. This is three tons. Reduce signature again. They'd never know. We'd be like hidden the, all, the whole time, and then we just show up out of nowhere. Uh, yeah. I don't know, guys. I'm kind of at an impasse here. Sensors advanced jammer. Yeah. So let's say we go this route for a second. Just sake of argument. Then let's say we take a we put in uh where are you here? This is gonna be a weird uh setup here, I think. Warfare suite. If we pull one flamer. So we pull the case two, put the ammo in the legs. And then maybe if you go here. Should probably be switching these anyway. Uh, let's take these two out and put two bonus accuracy SRM4s in. That should give us our weight back. What are we doing for heat here? We got lots of heat. I mean, then we could always pull this guy out and go back, oops, in here. Here. Put the flamer back in. This is saying we're flush. Let's just double check, double check this because I'm not 100% convinced. So this is 8, 16. These are 6. This is 6. This is 8. So 24 and 48. 60 heat for sure. Then we're sinking 60. Yeah, so it didn't add this on. So it's 70 heat generation plus 15 percent. And then the mask. But if we had the warfare suite in, do we really need the void system? I mean, it's nice because of the sensor masking. 
We do just have regular stealth, though. Minus 30% reduced visibility. Reduced signature. I don't know. I'm not convinced this is going to be any better. Hmm. I mean, we could do... The other thing is, is we do... Uh, this. Um, and let's put. Hate to have the ammo in the same legs. God, this is a tough choice. If we do this, then we do. this then we do uh, where are you here I mean we could go with angel ECM too which I think is probably better still saving us a ton and a half so we don't need to put all of these in here so we can leave one of these out it gives us a ton left over and then we can grab our case back and not feel so exposed. I think that's probably going to give us the best route. So we're not counting in the 15, 10 heat, 15, yeah, 61. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be okay. We're still going to run a little hot, I think. I mean, the other thing we could do is, I don't think we have enough, uh, well, we do have enough patchwork. Just thinking, if we put, if we put more, one more time worth of patchwork in, we could put the cooling pod back in. But I think overall, I think this is probably pretty good for now. Let's stick this route. We've lost a little bit of flamer damage. Um, but we gained a bit of accuracy, which is good. Um, and I think we've got, we're going to have better um, stealth ability too, I think, in the long run. 10% range is nice as well. Um, so we can hit a little longer range with our flamers and SRMs. So we can stay further away if we wanted to. That's another option. So let's confirm this. Six days. A little, mo little more than I thought it was going to be, but... I think overall, right. it's a better loadout. Our next take is just about gone, Commander. Yeah, we got enough to sell here. All right, well, you know, I'll do that between episodes. So I'm going to sell a few things between episodes. Um, got to end this episode here. My arm is killing me, so I'll end the episode. Um, yeah, if you guys like to drop a like. Um, uh, if you have any suggestions for the Flamehawk, please drop them in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.